Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. So I know how much you all love the piping hot Drag Race tea, so I thought I'd make a video going through some of the Drag Race drama that has been happening recently. And this includes Sherry Pie speaking out about her disqualification, Jan addressing the Starbucks ad backlash, and Trinity K. Bonet calls out Derek Barry. All that coming up in today's video, so let's get started. Sherry Pie Speaks Out So you may remember that a while ago I mentioned some drama in a previous video that had happened about Sherry Pie being called out by her season 12 co-star Jan. And Sherry had seemingly returned to doing drag more regularly sometime before, but she then started offering cameos. Jan then called Sherry out and said that Sherry had lied to the rest of the season 12 cast about what she had done and that Sherry could not be trusted. Well, Sherry had been posting more on social media for some time before this happened. However, it appears that Sherry has now publicly addressed her disqualification from Drag Race as well as what she did. Sherry recently posted a lengthy statement in an Instagram story talking about her mental state and what happened. So I'm going to read out the statement in its entirety because it contains a lot of information. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Hopefully we try to be aware of our mental health all year, but let's bring a focus on something that affects us all by talking about it on a personal level. My journey began about five years ago when I received my diagnosis. I am a queer person with BPD, brackets, borderline personality disorder. My diagnosis changed my life and in many ways saved me. It provided some explanation for destructive behaviours that hurt others and myself. I was no stranger to self-harm, my self-worth was nowhere to be found. On the outside, I did everything I could to keep myself appearing stable and put together. When all the pain I had caused came to light in the public eye, of course it was met with outrage and disgust. I understand the response and I won't ever be able to go back in time and fix and mend things, but I can and have owned my mistakes while learning and growing at the same time. I'm lucky to have an amazing therapist and psychiatrist. Through the use of CBT, brackets, cognitive behavioural therapy, therapy and DPT brackets dialectical behavioural therapy, I have developed the tools I need to help manage my BPD in useful and constructive ways. BPD, brackets like most mental illnesses, is often horribly stigmatised by media outlets in our country, making our own responses to mental health emergencies somewhat less than supporting and understanding. More often than not, people are ostracised and then left to pick up the pieces alone. We must do better and we can do better. Better. Sometimes life is messy and nasty, but that's life. If we are truly going to make strides as a society with mental health, then first we've got to understand how complex we all are and try as hard as we can to have empathy for other humans no matter what. Broken crayons still colour. Through therapy, I have finally found my true self. Of course, I will have moments where my BPD will, quote, rear its head but I now have some coping tools to deal with the situation and the ability to recognise when I'm not okay. BPD is not who I am. I'm more than my mental illness. I am more than my mistakes. I am more than my trauma. I'm complex just like all other humans, just like you. And this statement was met with criticism online, with people saying that Sherry was trying to gain sympathy or trying to find a reason to excuse her actions. But there were also a few people who were defending Sherry and saying that in their opinion, she has paid the price for her crimes and that she should be able to move on. Sherry has subsequently posted a few more Instagram stories about Mental Health Awareness Month and mentioned her own struggles with anxiety and depression. And some people have taken this recent activity on Sherry's Instagram as a potential sign that Sherry may be planning a full return to doing drag, although it's not clear if that's true or not. So we'll have to wait and see if she posts anything else in the meantime. Jan addresses Starbucks ad backlash. So you may remember that a while ago I mentioned in a video that Jan and Olivia Lux had done a partnership ad with Starbucks. 
and the two of them received backlash because Starbucks has been accused of supporting Israel, and as a result, Jan and Olivia received criticism online. However, neither of them had really addressed it. Well, I came across a video clip from one of Jan's recent lives in a Reddit thread, and Jan addressed the controversy surrounding the Starbucks ad, which I believe was the first time that she had addressed it. I'm going to play the live video, but I'm going to interject at certain points to provide some context about what is happening. So to start off with, what I believe Jan is referring to, although I may be wrong, is the controversy that Starbucks was involved in a while back, where Starbucks sued one of their workers' unions because the union, which uses the Starbucks logo, had made an alleged pro-Palestine tweet. And as a result, according to news reports, Starbucks had sued the union because Starbucks claims it's politically neutral and the union shouldn't have used the Starbucks logo as part of a political tweet. Anyway, here is what Jan said about that. If you want to take a look at the... T so let's get past the, the tweet, right? Let's get past the tweet with the Starbucks company. If you, if you were to put a logo... And most of you don't know this because none of you run a business. If you put a logo on something... They will they will come after you for copyright infringement. That's with everything, right? Okay, so let's get past that. I totally understand. Jan then seemingly referred to Starbucks's former CEO, Howard Schultz, who has apparently supported Israel on several occasions. When it comes to um, the CEO, the ex-CEO of Starbucks, that is totally valid. I get that you would not want to give money to somebody that's a Zionist. Totally. And Jan also talks more generally about people or companies who are allegedly supporting Israel and the boycotts. But did you all know that the phone that you are watching this on right now, probably an Apple phone, do you know who the number one shareholder for Apple is? Vanguard Fiduciary Fund. Do you know who is making weapons for Israel right now? Vanguard Fiduciary Fund. So everyone's complicit in this. And nobody wants this. I don't want any genocide. That fucking sucks. I don't want any of that. Jan also says that they filmed this Starbucks ad before any of this happened and that she didn't promote it outside of her contractual obligations. Honey, I did not know when this commercial was happening that all of this was going to be going on. I am so sad. And the thing is too, I'm not posting about this on my Instagram. I had a choice. Do I want to post about this when it was happening? And I said no. I said no, because I was not going to post about that because I did not want to contribute to it. What they post on their thing is fine. That's a contractually obligated thing for me. The, the outcry and anger that you have towards me and Olivia, that should not be here. You are all like, it, it should not be for us. Honey, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I do not want to be doing that. But this was filmed long before any of this was an issue. Of course, Palestine. I don't want, I don't want any genocide. I don't want a genocide. And notice that I'm saying genocide. I'm not saying a war. I think that should be telling enough. And this is, of course, a very complex and sensitive issue, so please remember to be respectful in the comments and think carefully about what you're saying. Also, just to make it clear, I'm not taking sides in this. As always, I'm simply reporting what happened. And I'm not validating any of the information in this video, so please make sure you do your own research using trusted sources. Trinity K. Bonet calls out Derek Barry. So, finally, we're going to be talking about some recent drama that happened between Trinity K. Bonet and Derek Barry on the back of a comment that Derek had made about Trinity. Derek was doing an interview with Ricky Cornish, who is an entertainment correspondent and internet personality, and in the video, Ricky asked Derek if there is a queen that she would never work with again. Is there a queen that you're okay with never working with again? <laughs> oh, Lord. I have to answer that, I said I would. And Derek said Trinity K. Bonet, and I believe Derek is referring to when she and Trinity worked together on the RuPaul's Drag Race live show in Las Vegas in 2022. And I'll play the clip now of what Derek said. I'm gonna be honest, okay. and I'm gonna say Trinity K. Bonet, because she wanted to do Beyonce, she didn't get to, and I think that she just wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes I was living in her nightmare. Yeah, mm -hmm. but everyone else I loved working with. <laughs> and it appears that Trinity saw this clip and then she took to Instagram and reposted the video clip and then provided a written response to this in the Instagram post. I won't read the whole post as it's quite long, but I'll just summarize the main points. Trinity started off by saying that she was tagged and sent this video so much, which is why she decided to respond to it. 
Trinity then said that knowing that Derek will never work with her again because she apparently made her life difficult explains why Drag Race have apparently not replied back to Trinity or invited her back to the Vegas show. Trinity then said she wanted to do Beyonce because that had been part of her storyline since season 6 and the show told her they couldn't get the rights to the Beyonce songs but Drag Race had then used four new Beyonce songs since then. Trinity then said that she has been battling quote excruciating pain every night in her legs due to severe arthritis and she questioned what attitude Derek expected when Trinity had to quit partway through the show due to the pain. Trinity then seemingly admitted that she was supposed to be on Canada vs the world but she wasn't able to do it due to her medical issues. Trinity then said that she had helped Derek get ready for the Grammys but any time that she tried to hang out with Derek outside of work Derek didn't reply. She also said that Derek rarely spoke to her even though Derek spoke to everyone else. Trinity also said quote I know what type of person I am, I know where my heart is, videos like this are the very reason I want no part of this bleep anymore. And Trinity finished by saying that Derek gets to live her dream and do what she wants to do whereas Trinity didn't. And she finished by saying quote I guess I should just be grateful they even gave me the job huh? With a thumbs up and a rolling eye emoji. And several queens such as Jiggly Caliente and a mandatory meeting wrote messages of support in the comments for Trinity. And as far as I'm aware, Derek has not replied to Trinity's comments, so we'll have to wait and see if any further developments come out about this. So there you go, there was a video with three recent Drag Race dramas. As I said earlier, please do not send any hate to the queens and remember that these videos are just for entertainment purposes, so please enjoy these videos passively. And I'd just like to give a shout out to all of my incredible Patreon members. In the Euro Winner Baby tier we have Alan, Anna, Ashley, Bailey, Emerald1508, Ethan, Josh, Kat, Lisa, PC Smush, Rachel, Rochelle, Sam, Shelby, Shara and William. And in the Shantae You Stay tier we have Amy, Becky, Brennan, Charlie, David, Emmy, Kerry, Linda and Stephen. You are all absolutely incredible. I love my Patreon so so much. Your support really does truly mean so much to me and it really does make a huge huge difference to my channel so thank you all so so much. And if you'd like to have your comment featured in my Have Your Say videos, as well as get early access to my videos and priority when submitting interview questions, please consider signing up to my Patreon and supporting my channel and I'll put a link in the description. Please make sure you like, comment and share this video as it really helps support my channel. And of course, please make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date about new uploads. Thanks again for watching and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you, bye.